Hello stylers and welcome back to my channel for another video. I am really looking forward towards actual summer. Spring was a bust and I'm ready for summer to get here. So to continue on my spring summer DIY series, I am showing you guys this beautiful floor off the shoulder top using a pattern. Today's pattern is Ashley Nail Tip and Collab with Simplicity pattern number 8344 in the size G5 US 26-34. It is a bodysuit pattern the pattern itself comes with six different styles and we're going to be doing style F today which is the off the shoulder with the ruffle detail. The back of the pattern packet comes with all the important information you would need to know before starting the actual um, sewing. The sizing so you know how much fabric to get as well as your material. Because of the style of the pattern, Simplicity gives you a few options of fabric but most importantly you must pick up anything that is a stretch knit such as jersey, spandex blends, stretch lace and velvet and something and something that has that has at least two way stretch. Take note of any fabric that has one way design because you would need extra fabric so that you could be able to match up that print on the fabric such as plaids or stripes. My pattern my fabric choice is this beautiful floral fabric that I picked up from Joann's and I showed you guys in a previous video and lucky for me it has four way stretch and a white backing. I got about two and a half yards of this fabric. So other things that you would need before you start sewing and you're also going to need four and a half yards of elastic. You're going to need a one fourth yard of snap tape that is three fourths that is three fourths wide, as well as um, depending on style. Also, you're going to need two scissors: a scissors for cutting your fabric and a scissor for cutting your paper, and of course your measurements. Now to note, I will be making um, because of the sizing, I will be making slight style and size modifications to this pattern. So. I have my measurements here and I'm measuring my bust which is 51, I'm measuring my waist which is 46 and my hips which is 58 and you're also going to need size for your, your back, the, for your back which is from your neck to your waist which is about a 17. Okay, so because I am between a size 26, 28 and I am smaller on the top than I am on the bottom. I am going to do a slight sizing modification to this pattern. This, there's a little piece of paper that comes with the pattern and you can, and it tells you how to modify the pattern to be your size. So starting with piece number 12 which is the front piece of the pattern, I am going to um, make some alterations so that I don't have to just cut one size. So I'm going to take a color pen and I'm going to draw a line from the 26 and I'm going to veer off until I get to the size 30. And I'm veering off at the widest part of the pattern which would be the widest part of my body which would be right at my hips. And I'm using my French curve ruler just to make a slight curve so it could veer off and then blend into, and blend into the size 34 the size 30 line and I'm going to do the same thing with pattern piece number 13 which is the back piece again starting at the 26 veering off until I get 30 and then just blending that line into 30 so now that you have done all that it is time to cut your pattern pieces And don't forget to cut along that new line that you created. 
This is perfect for girls who have a pear shape or apple shape, who have a pear shape or more of an hourglass shape where you're smaller in the waist and bigger in the hips or the bust, and you need to make sure that the fabric fits to tailor to you. So now it's time to cut out your pattern pieces. Again, um, you will need eight pieces total. And because I'm doing the slice style variation, I added, I have a ninth piece, which is the straps. So the pattern also the instructions also tell you how to lay out your fabric and how to lay out your pieces on your fabric to cut it so, moving on before cutting your fabric you want to lay out your fabric evenly and smoothly you want to lay out your fabric evenly and smoothly and you want to lay your pattern pieces on top of your fabric line everything up make sure everything goes with the grain I don't have to worry about making my seams match because my fabric is not a has um, because my fabric does not have a one way design. I folded my fabric lengthwise so that I have a, as much surface space to work with as possible. Laying out my larger pattern pieces such as pattern piece number 12 which is going to be on the fold and pattern piece number 16 and 13 which is going to be on the salvage edge which you need to cut twice. So pattern piece number 20, which is the neck flounce, which is the ruffle detail, needs to be cut on the fold twice. So you need to cut two pieces of the neck flounce twice. So again, cut that on the fold and cut it twice. Don't forget to cut out your notches as you cut it out, as you cut out the pattern piece. You're going to cut um, pattern piece number 5 and 19 twice. And you're gonna cut your elastic pieces which is number 16 and number 18 um, and 17 six six and 17 need to be cut twice and number 18 could just be cut once so let's do one final count before we cut our pattern pieces we're gonna need piece number 17 which is your neck elastic piece number 17 which is your sleeve elastic and you need to cut two I know I'm only showing one but you need two pieces of that piece number six which is your leg elastic you also gonna need two piece number five which is your um, leg casing for the elastic as well as piece number 13 which is the back panels of your bodysuit piece number 12 which is the front bodice of what well, the front part of your bodysuit piece number 16 which are your sleeves and then piece number 20 which is your neck flounce the ruffle details you're going to need piece number 19 which is your straps if you're going to add straps to your bodysuit as I did mine because there are so many different styles and instructions for different styles on the bodysuit, I went ahead and I took a highlighter and again marked the steps that I need for the particular style F which I am working on. So you're going to start with piece number 13 which is your back two pieces for the back of your bodysuit. Removing your pins, making sure that you have all your notches marked. We're going to take those piece, take them two pieces and put those right side together and we with right sides facing together, you're going to do a stay stitch down the sides of pattern piece number 13, creating the back seam of your bodysuit. Pretty, then you're going to take pattern piece number 13 and 12, put those right sides together, which is your front and your back piece, 
leaving out the armhole do not pin up the armhole you're going to secure that with some clips or pin and then again you're going to go in do a stay stitch down the seams of those two pieces attach them together to create the body of your bodysuit you have done that you have created the body of your bodysuit so now it's time to attach now it's time to create the sleeves so with piece number 16 with wrong sides together you want to fold that piece in half along the folded line the long way not the short way the long way the first time I did it I did it the short way you want to fold it along wrong sides face together so that means right side facing out the pretty side of the fabric facing towards you and fold that in half match it up notches small and large darts you want to do a base stitch around the perimeter of this of the two pieces So once you have sewn your two pieces together, you're going to take piece, pattern piece number 17, which is the sleeve elastic, and you're going to attach, you're going to pin the elastic over the stitch line, matching up the small dot. So there should be a small dot on your elastic using your visible ink as well as on the actual pattern piece, the fabric. Starting at the, at the top of the sleeve, um at the dot you're going to sew a stay stitch using a ballpoint needle you want to switch out your sewing machine I should have said this in the beginning using a ballpoint needle ballpoint needles work best for elastic and stretchy material attaching the elastic to the sleeve pulling the elastic a little top so it can match down to the bottom sleeve creating a ruching effect on the sleeve once you have once you have that now it's time to attach the sleeve to the bodysuit i did get no footage of this guys my camera stopped working and then it was too difficult i didn't want you guys to, it wasn't difficult i just got frustrated and i didn't want you to see you guys see me just struggle on, on camera okay now it's time to create and attach your leg casing then you want to fold that in half lengthwise and press that so that it can give you a nice clean um fold Fold leg casing in half lengthwise, wrong sides together, matching up small dots. Right. With the right sides together, pin leg casing to the edge, uh, matching up the small dots of on the leg casing with the seam of the bodysuit. Yeah, do a stay stitch within the seam allowance, attaching the leg casing to the bodysuit. your leg casing you want to press the leg casing away from the bodysuit now it's time to insert your elastic into the leg casing so using piece number six you want to use a pin a safety pin or you can attach it to like a long um, crochet needle and you want to take the pin or the crochet needle and you want to insert that through the casing of the bodysuit once you have done that, you want to do a basic, you want to do a base stitch closing off the ends of the leg casing. Now it's time to attach the straps. I don't have much footage of me attaching the snaps. So you just want to follow along in the instructions, guys. So once you have attached your snaps, we're going to move on to the neck flounce. You're going to um, take your neck flounce, put right sides together, attach the neck flounce together, and then you're going to make a narrow hem along the edge of the neck flounce, um, press the stitch, press the seam, and then now it's time to attach your neck flounce to the body of your bodysuit. 
pin the right side of the flounce to the wrong side of the bodysuit along edge along top edge of the bodysuit matching up centers and placing seams as small dots and then you want to do a stay stitch along around the perimeter of the bodysuit attaching the bodysuit to the neck flounce giving yourself about a half an inch seam allowance once you have done that you want to press flounce out pressing seam allowance towards the bodysuit which you're going to stitch around the perimeter and leave an opening because you're going to insert your elastic through the casing. Once you have inserted your elastic through your neck casing, you want to um, stitch the ends of the elastic together so they will hold. Close off the opening that you left for the elastic casing. And then so to make sure that the elastic is secure and it doesn't move and bunch around, you want to slow as you want to sew another stitch as closely to the elastic as possible to secure the elastic in place. Turn flounce inside out. Lens fall into place and then you're done. I went ahead because I didn't like how everything looked. I went ahead and just re-secured the top of the flounce, the neckline. I didn't like how it looked when I was done. So I just did a simple roll and tuck and did um, a stitch. So again, as you can see, my roll and tuck. And here is me showing you how I attached my straps. I tried on the bodysuit with the bra and marked where I wanted the straps to sit to make sure they hide my bra straps. I'm sorry for the half-ass footage, but I was over it, guys. My sewing machine was acting up. I think I need to go get it looked at. But with all that, stylers, you're done. Here is the final look. I'm absolutely in love. I hope you guys love it. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so very much. I hope you guys are excited. And you're, if you have the chance, please enter the 2,000 subscriber giveaway, which will be ending in a week. Thank you guys so very much. I love you guys, but always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time.